What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll be teaching you two ways to create a loading bar effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm here in my Premiere and I will start by creating a sequence, just like so. I will just have it be the standard 1920 by 1080 sequence. Next up, let's create a background just so we're not working on this black boring background. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna go to color map, hit OK. I'm gonna type in a predefined X code here that I've prepared. 30, 30, 30, just like this gray kind of uh, color. And I'll just rename it background here and drag that down here into video layer one. That's nice. So the first thing I want to do here is just press Q to get my rectangle tool and just draw a random square here. That should be fine. Just drag that out a little bit. And now it's time to modify the properties of the square a little bit. So I'm going to come up here into window and then essential graphics. Go to edit here and you can see our shape layer here, our square. So first let's change the size of it a little bit. I'm gonna make it be 1620 by 100. I'm gonna have a 50% uh, or a 50 pixel edge fillet. So we have this curved uh, square here. Next up, I'm just gonna center it a little bit here. And what I actually wanna do here at this point is remove the fill, add a stroke, and then add some color. I'll change the color. I don't wanna be have it be white. I think that's a little bit boring. So I'm gonna use B871FF. It's kind of pastel pink here. And we're gonna have this stroke be like maybe 10 instead. I think that looks nice. Next up, I'm gonna duplicate this layer here and uh, I'm gonna change, uh, remove the stroke here, enable the fill, change the fill to the same color as the stroke. Now we'll make it a little bit smaller here. I'm gonna make it 1600 by 80. So we kind of have this like stroke around the, our loading bar, which will load in the middle. Last thing here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some text here. I'm gonna type in loading dot 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 in all bold. I'm going to search for an effect called Trip Sans Ultra here. I kind of like this font. I'm going to change the spacing a little bit. And I want to have the fill be the same as our loading bar. I think that looks nice. Just center align it and drag it up a little bit so it's above. So the first thing which I want to animate is actually uh, this bar here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to search for an effect called Crop. I'm going to transform here and just apply that to the middle bar. And basically what this one does is it will allow you to crop kind of the, uh, the video. So I will take the parameter here and call right, turn it all the way down to one, uh, all the way up to 100. Enable keyframes. I'm gonna go forward maybe like three seconds or something, like so. And then turn it to zero, so we get like this type of animation here. That already looks kind of good, but I want to make it a little bit more smooth. So I'm selecting both keyframes here, clicking ease in and ease out. And next up, I kind of want to go to the middle of the clip, somewhere like this. And I want to play a little bit more around with the keyframes here, make it a little bit more smooth. So I'm going to come in here and uh, open the keyframes. And you can see these small handles here. You kind of just want to drag them here a little bit. Kind of want to mirror them both sides so you get something like this, right? That way the... Uh, Loading bar will kind of ramp up and then slow down. I think that looks nice. At least just to make it a little bit more smooth, as you can see, it's very harsh here. Let's just add some feather. I think that would look nice. Something like that, maybe 150. Should we try that? I think that will make it look a lot more smooth. That's nice. Let's enable our order and our text here as well. So this just stays here. I kind of want to maybe like have that loop in with the opacity. So where the animation starts here, five frames in. On our loading text, I'm gonna enable keyframes on opacity and our border here on opacity as well. Just go back all the way to zero seconds, turn down the opacity on both, and we're gonna just have them now fade in. I think that's nice. So I want to teach you one more way that you can create a kind of loading bar. Select the ellipse tool here. Uh, just hold down uh, the left mouse button when selecting the rectangle tool and click on the ellipse. Just draw like a random ellipse like so. In here, I want to click off the fill, click on the stroke, change it to white. Let's do white now. Change the size to 20. Let's have it be maybe 700 by 700. And let's center this one. Next up, I want to have this one be maybe one second and 20 frames long, something like that. I'm going to search for an effect called radial wipe. Oops, 
radial wipe is under here on the obsolete. Just apply that one. I'm gonna change the wipe to counterclockwise. I'm gonna change the transition complete to 100%. And here at the start of our graphics layer, I will enable keyframes. I will go forward 20 frames, like so. So we just got this thing here. Very simple. So what I want to do now is actually duplicate this layer here. And where this first animation ends, go five frames forward. Just drag these clips here over like so. I want to change the wipe from counterclockwise to clockwise. Now we're starting with transition complete zero, having it end at 100. So now we kind of got like this thing here. You might remember from old like windows loading. So it first loads up and then loads out. And as you can see here, because we made this clip one second and 20 frames long, we will have a gap here of five frames and a gap here of five frames. This basically means that we can copy this one like infinite times. And that way we can just kind of have like a repeating animation. And I think that looks pretty sweet. So let's just add some quick text to it here again. Just to finish it up, I'm gonna type out loading like so. Now let's actually make it all bold like so. And we already have my favorite font, the Trip Sans Ultra. Fill white, let's keep that spacing 200 and let's actually just center this and see how it looks. I mean, that looks pretty sweet. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please make sure to like this video, leave a comment down below, letting me know which type of tutorial or video you would like to see next. Also consider subscribing to my channel, I try to upload videos 3 times a week, but anyways, take care guys.